Hi guys, today I will be putting this InvisiShield screen protector with Vision Guard that's supposed to filter out harmful blue lights under a blue light test. Make sure you subscribe because I will be doing this blue light test on other screen protectors that are coming in the mail like OkiShield or Just JustEye uh, and to see if their claims about blue light works. Now to do this test, I'm going to take this blue light and I'm going to shine it onto the testing area of this uh, blue light testing card. and as you can see, when I pulled the blue light off, it's going to turn blue in the testing area. Now, the blue is going to fade a little bit in the testing area. Give it some time, it'll turn back white. And the way I'm going to do this test is I'm going to take this non-blue light filtering uh, screen protector, and I'm going to uh, place it next to the Zag Vision Guard one that's supposed to filter out blue light. And then I'm going to shine the blue light on both and see if there's any difference between the two blue light filtering uh, technology. So uh, the reason why I, I found this important is because I think when they when uh, companies put the blue light technology on, uh, they charge a premium, like a ten to twenty dollar premium. And we want to, as consumers, we really want to make sure that this actually works. Um, and for me, myself, I'm currently using the Zag uh, Vision Guard Plus on my current um, iPhone 12 Max. So depending on how this test goes, uh, I might be, I, I might need to switch it out for some of the other ones that I will be testing later. I'll also do a side by side comparison of all the other ones once uh, all of them come in the mail. So please subscribe and keep a lookout for that. But man, this screen protector is hard to take out so again the one on the left as you can see right now is without uh, any blue light filtering and the one on the right is zags uh, vision guard um, and then i'm going to place them uh, i guess I'll, I'll stick them next to each other uh, and then we can show the overlap too a little bit later but let me start shining the light on now to in the testing area to see so now I'm shining it on the one without any filtering and we'll see how that looks. And then I'm going to shine on the, on the side that has filtering. Hmm. Um, it's yeah, it seems like it still got through on the one that's supposed to be filtering. Uh, let me do, let me do this again. Let, let me put both of them back and then let me do a more, consistent test because the timing of the one I did previously I obviously I did the non filtered one first and then the filter one so there might be a difference now I'm going to try to make it more consistent timing wise and then we can see if um, it provides if the Zag one provides any type of maybe a better filter we can see how it fades as you can see uh, the middle got filtered pretty well uh, but it seems like the Zag one does provide a little bit better blue light filtering because it, it fade a little bit faster. And as you can see, the one on the left still has some blue left. So I would say that yes, Zag provides some blue light filtering, but I'm not sure how much. Uh, and then I think we'll find out whether this is worth it when I compare it to the other ones that are going to come, the other blue light filters. And then we can do a side by side test to see how much each one, uh, f how much blue light each one filters out. Cause obviously some blue light will get out either way. So thank you for watching my video.